hello queens i'm back at y'all with another video and today i'm gonna be showing y'all how i created this look so we're jumping straight into the video i'm starting it off by cleaning my client's face and today i'm gonna be working with the brand hype beauty so they sent me a few products this is their eyebrow pencil and it's in the shade chocolate this is what i will be using today to do my client's brows and this is how the pencil is made as you can see it has a fine pointed end where you sketch out the brows and then it has the spoolie on the other end so i went ahead and clean my client's eyebrows off camera with the eyebrow archer so now i'm just lightly filling them in i'm going to try to be as light-handed with this product as possible even though this shade wasn't too dark at all my client already has thick brows so i don't really want to overdo it this eyebrow pencil was one of my favorite products that they had sent me in the box this is a 10 out of 10 y'all it was so easy to work with and it's very precise so as you can see i'm not going too overboard while doing her eyebrows and this was the perfect shade for her this shade was too light for me so if you're darker and you want to try this pencil out i recommend you try a darker shade Once I'm finished filling in her brows, this is what they're looking like. They look so good, y'all. I really didn't even have to clean them up, which I already know I'm going to. Right here, I just took some clear eyelash glue and brushed it through her eyebrows so the hairs can be nice and molded down in place. So now I'm just putting them in place using the spoolie end of that pencil. clean up her eyebrows i'm going in with my elf camo concealer and my nika k concealer and they're in the shades fair warm and o2 first i'm going in with the elf concealer which was in the shade fair warm and i'm using this to clean up underneath her arch because it's lighter and i love for the arch to be nice and highlighted Now I'm going in with the shade 02 and I'm going to use this the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows. I like to use two shades because I love for the arch to be highlighted but then I want the other areas of the eyebrow to blend in with her skin just so it can make it blend easier once we get to the foundation routine so that's why I do that. Now that the bottom is nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and buff those two concealers out. And once I'm finished blending them together, I'm gonna proceed to clean it up the top. As y'all can see, we have one nice and clean eyebrow, okay? That eyebrow is looking real good, if I do say so myself. But I'm going to go ahead and finish blending out these concealers. And then I'm just going to follow the same routine on the other side. So I'll let y'all watch that.
Now that both of the brows are clean, I'm going in with my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm just going to be pressing this throughout her brows to lighten them up. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Rose and I'm just going to be applying this all over her eyelids. The first color that I'm going to be taking on her eyes is this blush from Hype Beauty and it's in the shade Brett. As y'all can see, it's like this flamingo pink and it applies so smooth and so pigmented, y'all. As you can see, I started applying it on the outer edge of her eye. Then I started bringing it up towards the front of her eyebrows using a blending brush to do so. Next, I'm going to be going in with their palette, and this is the Going 8 palette. This is the packaging, and this is the color scheme. I'm going to be taking the color Kanye, which is the deepest color from the palette. It's like a plum shade, and I'm packing this on the outer edge of her eye. This shade didn't really blend with the blush, and it wasn't really as pigmented on the eye as it was in the pan, but I just made it work. As you can see, I went in with the blending brush that I used to blend out the hot pink, and I just used it to mesh the colors together. Now I'm going in with some more of that e.l.f. camo concealer and I just applied it to her lids. Since we're doing a no cut crease look, it doesn't really have to be neat, it just has to be blended. So as you can see, I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm using it to blend around the edges of the concealer. For her lid shades, I'm going to be blending together these two shades at the top, which are Cause and ASAP, and I'm just patting them on her lids using this dense eyeshadow brush. I'm just going back in with that hot pink blush and I'm using it to blend around the edges. If you want to, you can leave the eyeshadow like this, but y'all know I'm extra. So I'm going in with my glitter primer because I'm going to be adding glitter. If you would like to see what adhesive I used, I included it in my previous client tutorial. So go back and watch that one after you finish watching this one but as you can see I'm just tapping this primer all over her lids and now I'm going in with this pigment from P. Louise and I'm going to be pressing this right on top of the adhesive first I was going in with my brush but it wasn't picking up enough product for me so I decided to use my finger instead and as y'all can see the payoff is just magnificent okay it's beautiful I decided to go in with a fine glitter on top of the pigment so I'm taking this glitter from the Beauty Wiz Official. You can find them on Instagram and this glitter is in the shade Tink. I went ahead and lined her eyes off camera using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to blend out the end of the liner.
For her foundations, I'm going in with these two Maybelline foundations. The shade names will be in the description box below, but I'm taking the darkest shade, which was the Fit Me foundation, and I applied it to the outer edge of her face. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline 30 Hour Super Stay foundation, and I'm working it on the inner portions of her face. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my e.l.f. concealer and it's in the shade Fair Warm. To blend out the concealer, I'm going in with the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation and I'm just tapping everything in place. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in the shade Natural Tan and my Derma Bland Translucent Powder. First, I'm going in with my Fit Me Powder and I'm just pressing this into her skin using my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going on top of that Fit Me powder with my Derma Bland Translucent powder. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and it's in the shade Light to Medium. I'm going back in with that pink blush in the shade Brat and I'm just running this across her lower lash line. Now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm just running this across her lower lash line and I like to connect it with the liner. I went ahead and lined her waterline off camera using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. Now I'm just going in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in any powder that I have on her face. Big blinks, big blinks, big blinks, big blinks. Okay, y'all, it's time for lashes. Y'all already know I went ahead and applied some big blinks. I think these are 25 millimeter lashes. My girl loves her lashes long, okay? So every time she come on my channel, just expect us to use some extra long lashes. I don't know where I got these lashes from, y'all. I'm pretty sure it was either Amazon or Shein. But now I'm just going to go ahead and spray her face with some setting spray. And once that's finished, I'm going to 
going to be going ahead and highlighting her face using this highlighter from Hype Beauty. This highlighter is in the shade Life's Great. As y'all can see, it's like this nice pale champagne color. So it's going to be perfect for my client. I went ahead and applied it to the tip and the bridge of her nose. And as y'all can see, that highlighter is popping. Okay, she is very much there. She did not come to play with us. I don't know why I thought she was about to be subtle, but she most definitely is not that. Okay, y'all see the glow period you see it get into it come on hype beauty last but not least it's time to do these lips so for today's lip combo i'm taking my j Cash dark brown lip liner and my ozy lip gloss and it's in the shade 01 first i'm outlining her lips using that lip liner and y'all already know i'm doing an umber lip so i'm gonna outline her lips first and then go back in and fill in the edges Now I'm going in with that OZ Lab lip gloss and I'm going to be applying this to the center of her lips using a disposable lip wand and then I'm just going to blend it into the lip liner. Once I'm finished with this lip, we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm just going to let y'all watch. Ready to sing? Yes, girl, let me see. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> That's super cute, actually. I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna make some plans. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a whole photo shoot. Keto Beauty. Always. Very this is end. super cute. Just a side profile for me. Okay. You did good. <laughs> you did not, though. <laughs> Okay queens, this is the end of the video. As you can tell by her reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to see more client content, feel free to visit my Instagram. A link will be in the description box down below, as well as my clients if you would like to follow her. But that is it for this video. Bye-bye queens.